All right, guys. It is a spectacularly gorgeous day here in the collapse of global industrial civilization up here in the Catskill Mountains on this beautiful summer day under the uh, what we have recently labeled Cap Trails, the Capitalism Trails. Quickly turning this beautiful blue sky into a milky white haze here on this gorgeous Thursday morning. Uh, I believe it's June 27th, 2019, somewhere like that. So uh, I need to get ready. I'm thrilled to say for my interview with Alan Wiseman, the author of Countdown and the World Without Us. Uh, I am really looking forward to this and I have got to set up my high-tech studio but uh, I just can't resist this chronicle of the collapse today as I'm as I'm sitting here watching all of these uh, cap trails, these capitalism trails just obliterate another blue sky here in 2019. I open up the mainstream media as I'm drinking my coffee under the streaked skies and find this chronicle of the collapse right here in good old USA Today. Good for you USA Today. Looking ahead into the 21st century, global warming is only going to get worse. One reason those cloud trails airplanes leave behind in the sky, and I'm embarrassed to admit, guys, that I used to be a, uh, a chemtrail wacko, a conspiracy wacko, thinking that this, what I thought, I never did buy into this depopulation agenda. BS being spouted by the uh, the Alex Jones gang, but I for about three years I thought that what these things were was a clandestine program by the New World Order to reflect sunlight back into the skies to cool the planet. Uh, you know, that this was a clandestine solar radiation management. Uh, but then it, it always confused me why they were chemtrailing at night. Because I was thinking, huh, well, for every bit that this clandestine program is, is reflecting sunlight, this, this blanket, this gray blanket they're wrapping around the planet 24 hours a day, all night long. These things are going on all night long as well as all day long. Uh, wouldn't they be trapping the heat on the planet, keeping the heat from escaping uh, into the atmosphere? And so eventually I did come around to, uh, you know, regrowing my brain and understanding what these cap trails are, are, are clouds. They're man-made clouds being uh, created out, out of the backs of airplanes, these contrails. Uh, and, and of course, the, the fossil fuel jet fuel uh, is also uh, so everything that this article is talking about these uh, contrails these persistent contrails uh, could also you, you can also add in just the plain old uh, CO2 being released by all of this jet fuel and all of the other crap okay take it away USA Today and explain this to the uh, chemtrail wackos and, and I and I love it what this uh, up above this article and along the side are ads for 
airlines. They're advertising all of their cheap fares. You know, I'm in New York. So let's see, we have a, they're, they're advertising all of their fares to London, Paris, and Madrid. I think it's about, what, triple digits in, uh, in France and Spain right now. I'll get to that other story after I read this one. The more we fly, yes, the worse it will get. Contrails, those white ribbons jets leave behind in the sky will exacerbate global warming in the next few decades. A new study published Thursday today suggests, in fact, the impact of contrails on climate change is expected to triple, to triple by the year 2050, the study said. Contrails, or as I prefer, cap trails, warm the atmosphere, said study lead author Lisa Bach, a researcher at the German Aerospace Center. Since they can linger in the sky as cirrus clouds that trap heat inside the Earth's atmosphere. Anybody failing to understand what this woman is talking about? This right here. Uh, one hour ago, what this was, was a couple of cattrails. Every bit of this uh, soon to be milky white film completely obliterating the blue skies of the Catskill Mountains came out of the back of airplanes. And as the number of airplanes on the planet triple by the year 2050, driven mostly by uh, China, as more and more people make more and more money and have, you know, I love that, uh, that term, extra cash, uh, as the global middle class continues to explode in places like China and uh, in India and Brazil, you can expect the number of these things to triple by the year 2050. Quoting uh, Lisa Bach, quote, under the right conditions, such as today in the Catskill Mountains, contrails can persist for a prolonged period of time and sometimes evolve into a complete layer of cirrus clouds, close quote. Uh, according to the study, the increase in contrails is due to, pre due to predicted air traffic growth, which is expected, I'm sorry, to be four times larger. Why did I think th only three times? Which is expected to be four times larger in 2050, oh, compared to 2006 levels, or three times what they are today. And a slight shift of flight routes to higher altitudes, which favors the formation of contrails in the tropics. The impact on climate due to contrails should be strongest over North America and Europe, the busiest air traffic areas on the globe, but will also significantly increase in Asia. Bach said that, quote, there are still some uncertainties rega regarding the overall climate impact of contrail cirrus clouds and in particular their impact on surface temperatures because contrail cirrus clouds themselves and their effects on the surface are ongoing topics of research, but it is clear 
that they warm the atmosphere, close quote. Short for condensation trails, contrails or cap trails are actually man-made clouds formed by the heat of jet engines and then frozen by the cold temperatures outside of the jet. How much moisture there is in the air determines when contrails are visible and when they form. There is nothing nefarious about contrails, though conspiracy theorists call them chemtrails, claiming that airplanes are spraying toxic chemicals from airplanes, which is exactly what airplanes are doing. It's just not an, a, a nefarious plan by the New World Order to kill us all. It is simply an unintended byproduct of global industrial civilization, adding one more ingredient to the toxic stew that is killing us all. The study was published in the peer-reviewed journal Atmospheric Chemistry and Physics, a publication of the European Geosciences Union. And as long as where they mention Europe, uh, this is over on the science pages. Uh, that story I just read was right on the main headlines. But over on the science pages, let's just take a quick look at the number one story uh, in late June 2019 on the science pages. Many versions of this story. This is Mashable's version. Record-breaking heat wave cooks Europe. As predicted, a potent heat wave settled over Europe this week, bringing abnormally high June temperatures to vast swaths of France, Spain, Germany, and beyond. Home to hundreds of millions of people, already the highest ever recorded June temperatures have toppled in Germany, France, and Poland, reaching into the triple digits Fahrenheit on Wednesday. Then they go through some of those records. Uh, over the last century, Europe has increasingly experienced heat waves, and since 1500 AD, the region's five hottest summers, up until now, have occurred in 2018, 2016, 2010, 2003, and 2002. Expectedly, I love that word, expectedly, temperature records will continue to break as Earth's overall climate continues its relentless accelerated rise. This is Stefan Romstorff, head of Earth System Analysis uh, at the Potsdam Institute. Quote, heat records do, of course, happen much more frequently due to global heating. <coughs> that is entirely as expected, and it will continue as long as we heat the planet by adding greenhouse gases to the atmosphere, close quote, not to mention by adding all of these uh, cat trails to hold the heat in. Lynn Schaefer, climate scientist uh, at the University of Reading in the UK, agreed, quote, global temperatures are increasing due to climate change, and this means that Europe can expect more record-breaking heat waves in the future, close quote. Shaffrey noted that 
boosted global temperature has at least doubled the probability of heat extremes in Europe similar to last summer's scorching events. And of course, 2019 is already leaving uh, 2018 in the dust. But it is a fine summer day under the Cat Trail Street skies uh, of the Catskill Mountains uh, on this beautiful summer day. And I've got to wrap this up because uh, I've got to get ready for my interview with Alan Wiseman to draw some dots between all of this and over population how everything I've been talking about and pretty much everything we talk about due to too many people on the planet get out there and enjoy your cap trail streaked skies while you still can bye guys